like I love that he, he's got a lot of, you know, what you call classic. Well, I figured I'd make a quick pit stop and look at some scenery on the way and just tell you what I'm up to today. It's uh, winter, it was a frozen start this morning and I am going to go camping and fly fishing. Yes, I'm a little bit crazy. But I've got some cool gear that I want to test out that I really need to do some camping with, uh, gear that was sent to me. And I have some new fly fishing things that I want to try out as well. I attended a urinumphing clinic and stuff. So uh, I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to do and I'm a bit tired of the winter stuff. So I'm going to go to somewhere I would normally go in summer, but it is open in winter. And yeah, I'm going to camp tonight and freeze my ass off and <laughs> see what happens. Hopefully I survive it. So let's get on the road again and uh, get to the spot and start fishing and starting doing some stuff. Okay, yeah, well, finally made it to the river. I just got my indicator read first and later I'll move to a urinum thing rig, I think. So I'm going to try that. Let's see if I can pick something up on the indicator rig. Yes! Oh, that's a good fish. Right in the back, Eddie. Oh, maybe I can get it while it's a little bit confused. <laughs> what an awesome start. Three and three quarter pounds. Two kilos. Woo! What an awesome fish. Man, what a start. That is cool. Three and three quarter pound, beautiful hen, absolutely lovely. Okay, escaped, didn't get the underwater shot, but really cool. Okay, well, let's try that again. Yes, another one. It's a bit late on the strike there. Oh, what a start. It seems like it's got a bit more fight to it. I think I got that other one a bit surprised. Oh, not a great fish. Hopefully I can land it. Can't really go downstream, so I can't follow it. Just have to bring it upstream. Get this back a bit here. Lift it. This is 
sauna and fish. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Four pounds! <laughs> wow, what a start! Wow, what a fantastic fish! Man, that is a good start this morning. Beautiful four pound rainbow. Uh, yeah, beautiful hen to start off with and then a beautiful jack. Viewing the urinimping thing a bit of a go and one of the uh, things that I want to practice that I learned at the fly fishing clinic with Ollie uh, Bassett is fishing with much lighter leaders and a bunch of techniques for making sure I stay in contact directly after the cast like a tuck cast with my leader and also fishing a greater distance so lots of things I want to practice Yes, got a fish. Oh. Damn, that was a good fish. The drag was a bit tight, I think. Fishing a very light line, four and a half X, so that was a not failure. I managed to create a massive tangle in my urine and things set up, so. Back to the indicator set up for a, this bit. She wanted a euro this, but very productive often yes there we go on the edge of that fast water he is going downstream at a rate this is not good if they do that He's gone miles down the Oh, it looks like a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, it's wrapped itself now. Okay, go ahead. Wrapped at the last minute. That is a good fish. Oh my goodness five pounds hoo, hoo, hoo. just over five. Oh, this is a great fish took the uh, heavy rubber leg fly <laughs> look at that that is a absolutely awesome fish wow my day is made three really really good fish it's getting bigger each time oh, let's have a last look at that one that is awesome Okay. I'm clear is going to make it really hard to see me. Oh my god, I cannot see the sight of I can't see anything. Mm-hmm. 
this. There we go. I have got a tangle of some sort. This is going to break the fish off. Big one. Caught a fish and had a tangle around the rod tip. Yes, right where I normally get them. Not a big fish, but got one. And the urine and can set up finally. Well, hopefully, I can land it. <laughs> yes, cool, very nice. Oh. The biggest fish and it escaped <laughs> but yeah very cool quite a rainbow on the uh, on the euro setup so let's see if we can continue that looking more fish there we go just as I I was wondering, I'm um, not hooking more fish. fish. Oh, it's a brown. It's a brown. Really fashionable, I don't like that. Oh, brownie. Nice. Nice. First brown for the day. Lovely little brown, not huge, but very nice very happy about that pretty little fish last look there and then we'll get that one away and see if we can get more well i had a massive malfunction with the euro setup i accidentally snapped the leader and then when i wanted to retie it i <laughs> clipped the micro loop off <laughs> so i really uh, made it very difficult for myself to get anything reattached and then i tangled as well on top of that so i gave up and I've got the swinging set up now, single-handed, and I am going to swing from the top of that run instead and um, see if I can catch something. Okay, the GoPro went flat. I was swapping GoPros and I managed to hook a fish on the swing. Finally got one on the swing. I think this camera was pointing in the right direction, so they're really cool. Nice little rainbow on the swing. Uh, I had the GoPro just gone flat and I caught it, then I tried to swap the GoPro, I might have like 10 seconds of the other GoPro and then that went flat, so yeah. Last look at that, little rainbow, let's get it away. Well that was really cool, that's going to be my cue to go wander back and go and set up camp and we'll get back to the fishing tomorrow morning, but for now we're going to go and set up camp and uh, make dinner and just relax. Well, camp set up, I'm ready to make fire for my dinner soon and uh, just relax and 
uh, yeah, relax and unwind and reminisce on what was a really successful day. So one of the bits of gear that I was sent is this from EcoFlow. It's called the River 2. It is a camping emergency outdoors, whatever you want to call it, solar charger battery bank. I was, this morning was really the first time I've used this and uh, it's nice EcoFlow to send me this. So yeah, I'm looking forward to charging all my batteries tonight. Um, that's been a problem for me when I've been camping outdoors or hiking and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this should hopefully be able to charge all of them all at once. I'm not going to be using the USB ports necessarily. I have got a USB charging hub that I normally use to charge, charge all my batteries and that can go on the inverter. So I want to see how that runs all the uh, USB chargers at the same time, my GoPro, my GH5, drone, everything can hopefully charge here. So we're ready for tomorrow morning because yeah, overnight stuff has always been a problem for me. So definitely something I suspect I'm going to be using quite a lot over the summer as well. So <laughs> might even bring a TV and plug that in too. But uh, yeah, I just used the coffee grinder this morning because I bought beans instead of ground ones. So I just grabbed the um, coffee grinder from home and yeah, grind the coffee. So uh, very useful potentially. So see how that goes. Um, There'll be a link in the description to the EcoFlow website for this. Um, and uh, yeah, check it out. Might be something you might be interested in. So something else I've been seeing recently has been headlamps and flashlights from Army Tech. Uh, I've tried them out quite substantially and gave them to my kids and had them play with it. And they have been bulletproof and extremely bright and very useful. So I've got one headlamp another smaller headlamp and a flashlight all extremely bright uh, very strong torches and headlamps batteries last a long time and they're all made of metal extremely strong so Armitech gives a discount to my subscribers I will leave the link in the comments I can't remember what the actual code is worth checking those out if you are keen or in the market for a headlamp or flashlight Well, I've got a couple of spots in mind on the way home and I think I'm going to be swinging them because I quite enjoyed catching that fish on the swing yesterday so let's see if I can do that again Yesterday my micro loop, today my running line snaps. I must have cut it somewhere. Damn it. Oh, this line is old but I must have cut that somewhere. I don't know where. Lucky, ah, oh, it's annoying. Anyway. Well, re-rigging after that line breaking has uh, taken quite a bit of my time. So I'm just going to pick out a few good spots and just go straight in there into the best spots and see if I can pick up a fish or two Yes, here we go. 
nice fish too. We are getting in and land this one. That'd be awesome. Okay. Really hope I can land this one. Time. I'm going to work my way out. It took a bit of work for to get this one. Nice, I'm gonna land it. Yes! Oh, whoa, that is a good fish. Oh, absolutely stunning fish. Beautiful fish. That is just the way I want it to, to top off this trip. So I'll have a bit longer fish, but I will probably, this will be my fish for the day, I imagine. Well, what a way to top off the trip with that fish. Didn't catch any more, was very happy with that fish. If you enjoy this video, watch another one up here. Check out those links in the description and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.